County judge has denied bond for the teenager charged with armed robbery, assault and resisting arrest. Police arrested Giovanni Jean-Pierre, who made headlines over allegations he stole a gun and then brought it to football practice hours later. WFO 48 Savannah Sapp joins us live from Albertville. Savannah, you talked to the attorney who's representing the teen and he says his client is getting unnecessary attention. Liz, defense attorney Richard Rice, who is representing 16 year old Giovanni Pierre, says the teen does not deserve to be charged as an adult on these charges. He also says the city's recent negative reaction toward Haitian migrants has blown this case out of proportion. The 16-year-old Albertville student accused of stealing a gun in ARAB and bringing it to campus hours later will remain in jail among adult inmates until further notice. Giovanni Jean-Pierre was denied bond last week during an Anaya's law hearing before Judge Mitch Floyd. His attorney, Richard Rice, says his client's case has garnered unwarranted negative attention after the news conference organized by Albertville city officials and the district attorney. To basically... I would say try to convict him in the court of public opinion um, was really not, you know, the best day for our profession as lawyers, I would say. Jean-Pierre is charged with armed robbery after stealing a gun from a man in ARAB, but Rice says that's not necessarily the case. He says Jean-Pierre was at a social gathering when he was given the firearm willingly before an argument broke out between other people there. Before these charges, Rice says the teen has always been a model student with no prior instances of violent behavior. This is somebody, like I said, who's as active in extracurricular activities, various sports, 2.8 GPA, expressed interest in becoming an engineer and even joining the military. Rice believes that the city's recent controversy over an influx of Haitian migrants has caused his client to receive unwarranted backlash. It's worth noting that Jean-Pierre's parents are immigrants but have lived in the area for years now. But when you add in these other factors of uh, xenophobia and, 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 and prejudice and bias, I think those things have really um, put us in a position now where we really can't unring the bell of what has been publicized about this young man. Well, Marshall County District Attorney Jennifer Bray responded to these claims in a statement saying any saying under Alabama law, anyone age 16 or older charged with a class A felony must be charged as an adult. Bray also says, quote, race has never and will never play a role in our decision to prosecute any person, end quote. Reporting live in Albertville, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.